Just a day after the release of iOS 26.1 to the public, Apple has released the first beta of the new iOS 26.2, and it is an amazing update. With just the first beta, we have a ton of really amazing new features, a lot of stuff we have actually been asking for for a really long time. And now they're here, a lot of features that you will love once you have your device updated to the new iOS 26.2. Now, before we get into all those features, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are still not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos and you want to see more of them, please make sure to hit that subscribe button it will really help the channel a lot and we're starting things off with the settings app so as you probably know on the settings app you will have like a setting that allows you to use the flashlight of your device for alerts well now you can use that but you can also use the screen of your device which is really cool so you need to go under the accessibility settings and then just go down here to audio and visuals and right here at the bottom you will have flash for alerts now if you have this enabled you will have the led flash but you can also choose here the screen of your device and not just that you can even choose both of them and then you will have of course the options here to flash when unlocked or flash in silent mode but again the real thing here is that you can now use the screen of your device when it basically you get a ring on your device it will actually flash the screen and not just your flashlight another big new feature that apple has added with the new ios 26.2 can be found on the reminders app so let's just go ahead and create a new reminder here and you can see right here when i enable time now we will have another option here called urgent if you enable that then reminders will basically have alarms as well so allow reminders to schedule alarms and timers so we can allow it right here and then there we have it so basically we can go ahead and enable it right here so at the time that you set your reminders you will also get the alarm so it's actually pretty cool so let's just set this so once we have it set it should also set alarms right here on the clock app and timers as well now, one of the features we have been asking for since the release of iOS 26 on its first beta with the new liquid glass design is a slider to allow us to adjust the liquid glass. Well, with iOS 26.1, we have like an option to go to tinted mode, but that's not what we have actually asked for. Now, this right here is the real deal even though it only will work on the lock screen hopefully in the near future we could use this everywhere on ios so when you go to edit your clock you will have this new slider that allows you to adjust the liquid glass right here on the clock now what's really interesting is that some people will love liquid glass some will hate liquid glass so like for a lot of people they want to have this slider so they can make the liquid glass more transparent just like it was on the first beta of ios 26 and a lot of people of course don't want it that transparent so it will look something like this so this slider if it would be on the settings and it will work like system wide it would actually be really awesome now there is a big update on podcast as well so instead of just going through the app and showing you the new features here's a list of what's new with the podcast app on ios 26.2 first of all we have chapters that allow it to easily navigate through an episode these will be automatically generated for your podcast so that's really awesome we have podcast mentions see and follow mentioned podcasts right from the player and transcript and then we also have from this episode where you can have quick access to links shared in the podcast on the episode page so any different link will show there so you can just click on it and it will take you to the link of course that will appear on that podcast which is really awesome also the news app has gotten some updates here so you will see the bottom tab right here where you switch between news and audio and all that stuff and then the search bar as well everything here has been redesigned with ios 26.2 beta 1. 
iOS 26.2 will also bring enhanced security alerts to your device. So you will have here earthquake alerts and also imminent threat alerts. You can enable those right here. And then you also have the option to improve the alert delivery. But again, enhanced safety alerts. Now it has its own section under the settings app. Now here is another really important change on the passwords section. So if you use the passwords app from Apple, then head on to your settings and go under apps. And if you go under passwords right here at the bottom, you will see something called show excluded websites. Now what these are, are basically websites that have offered you to save your password and username, but you didn't do it. And then it will show them right here. So again, it says you will be asked to save passwords when signing in into apps and website, except those that are in this list. Now what you can do is of course, open this list, it will show you all the apps and website right there. And you can go ahead and remove any of them if you have added them before or you didn't just save passwords for those apps and it has put it on this list and you can go ahead and remove them from here. Another couple of smaller changes will be one on Safari. I didn't see it for myself, but I've seen this reported from a lot of users. Once they open Safari for the first time on iOS 26.2 beta one, it will give you a pop up asking you to choose the default search engine for Safari. Also live translation for AirPods is now actually working in Europe. So if you live in Europe and you update to iOS 26.2, you can finally use translation for your AirPods, which is of course one of the best new features when it comes to AirPods with iOS 26. So what's next with iOS 26.2? Well, in my opinion, it will be released to the public sometime in December, most likely somewhere here on the 15th or 16th of December before the holiday season, it should be out to the public. In the meantime, of course, we will go through beta stages. I would expect actually Apple to go on a two week schedule for now. So I would expect the next beta somewhere right here on the 17th of November, then the fourth, then most likely the, the third here, the fourth, the RC on the 8th of December, and then the release on the 15th. Usually with these updates, Apple will go on the two week schedule for the first couple of betas. And then of course, move on to a weekly schedule, meaning that they will be releasing, of course, a new beta every week until the final release. So should you update or not? Well, it's basically very early to tell, even though it has some really great and useful new features. I think that you just wait for a bit more, maybe for the second beta, or wait for a few more days to see how this will work on devices, how the battery life will be and all that stuff. So I wouldn't jump into it right now, especially if you're just planning to install it on your daily device. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. iOS 26 is looking great with these new updates. They're actually really awesome. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.